Codemasters, the same developer behind the acclaimed Colin McRae Rally series, is hoping to make its other racing franchise, Toka Race Driver, just as popular. Since its arrival in 1998, Toka's critical success has always been overshadowed by its competitors, namely Sony's Gran Turismo. So this year's version for both PS2 and Xbox looks to offer what fans of GT and Colin McRae can both appreciate. Toka Race Driver 3's biggest selling point will be its large variety of authentic motorsport vehicles to drive, and tracks to compete in. While most racing games tend to stick with just one type of vehicle and just one type of course, Race Driver 3 looks to offer much more than that. Codemasters is actually calling it the ultimate racing simulator. We just need to take off as fast as a bride's 90. Players can step into 70 different licensed vehicles, ranging from indie style racers to classic muscle cars and even monster trucks and go-karts. Each automobile will carry its own distinct style of control, so heavy super trucks, for example, will have much slower acceleration and traction than a Formula 3. With so many types of cars to race in, getting used to each one may be a challenge for newcomers, but exciting for racing veterans. Of course, a large collection of vehicles to drive means that there should be an equally large collection of tracks to race on. Codemasters promises to have over 80 different variations in all. You'll compete on several well-known European speedways, streets, dirt tracks, and off-road courses. And just like the cars, each track has its own style of control. Off-road courses will make it much bumpier and harder to turn while on dirt, but that will quickly shift when dirt turns to asphalt. To be the best, players will need to adapt to not only each vehicle's sense of style and control, but understand how the different racing terrains affect your car's performance. There are two major modes of gameplay, World Tour and Pro Career. In World Tour, you'll compete in dozens of real championships with tons of cars in a short amount of time. Perform well and you'll unlock even more. And cutscenes accompany you along the way, providing players with a sense of accomplishment. Second place, terrific driving, son. The Pro Career option works in a similar fashion except more in depth. This mode has a simulation feel as races become longer and require more preparation to win. You can choose from six fields of motorsport to compete. Historic racing, oval racing, rallying, touring cars, GT racing, and open wheel. You need to participate in a qualifying run if you want to place well before the competition begins. And you'll also have a ton of choices to fine tune your car to your liking. So many that it may be intimidating to someone who really doesn't know that much about cars. Multiplayer fans will appreciate that up to 12 players on the Xbox can play at once, eight on the PS2. Both versions can be played with friends online and offline, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like players have the option of mixing and matching car types during multiplayer matches. In other words, you probably won't see a monster truck challenging a European go-kart. Toka Race Driver 3 is hoping to broaden the genre of racing simulations by offering the most diverse motorsport experience ever. It looks like it'll be a mix of Gran Turismo street racing and Colin McRae's off-roading. With so many vehicles and courses to race on, it should be a blast for veteran drivers and an intense challenge for beginners. We'll find out in late February 2006. You finally get your ass in gear. <laughs> well done, son.